the medical spa business getting a lift as many look to freshen up the areas they've kept under masks. I have gotten fillers. Botox and the aqua gold facial. Since 2020, the number of med spas has grown 45% for a total of more than 8,800 nationwide. The booming industry now worth $15 billion in the U.S. alone. With video calls forcing us to constantly look at ourselves, the so-called Zoom effect really boosted interest in these aesthetic treatments. But now, as we return to a more in-person lifestyle and lose all those filters, well, med spas are really filling up. The stigma attached to going to a med spa and getting treatments, aesthetic treatments, has really faded away. Women aged 34 to 55 make up the majority of med spa patients. AmSpa CEO Alex Tiersch says the appeal of appeal now reaching men and younger patients too. We're starting to see the beginning age drop down into the 20s and the early 30s. We've seen a lot of younger men. I do filler in my cheeks and my jaw and sometimes lips and Botox. <laughs> You're just going to feel a little pinch. 27-year-old Chris Furchert began his med spa journey two years ago with Gabby Garitano. She's a licensed physician assistant who opened Jekt to create a less clinical approach to these treatments. This is 24 karat gold needles. This $550 aqua gold facial developed in Korea is one of the spa's most popular services, delivering a cocktail of Botox, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C into the skin. Other popular med spa treatments now on the market, wrinkle reducers. Beyond Botox, multiple brands are now used to target different areas of the face. The same for dermal fillers. What goes into the cheek is different from the lips or chin. Microneedling to stimulate collagen production and radio frequency. A non-invasive procedure using heat to tighten skin. Before receiving any med spa treatment, experts say you should check with your doctor first and discuss the possible risks, which vary but can include bruising, redness, and swelling. When you're trying to select the right med spa, what should you look for as a consumer? What you should first do is a little bit of your research and not just choose something based on the price, but take a look at the Google reviews, make sure they have a licensed medical provider on site and someone that is specifically trained in the medical aesthetics industry. You can also ask to see before and after pictures of previous patients. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends seeing board certified physicians for these procedures, but both doctors and med spa providers Providers identify experience as one of the most important factors when choosing a provider. At JECT, providers receive six months of training. They're all licensed physician assistants and nurse practitioners. Experts say the provider should ask you about the look you want to achieve instead of telling you what to do. And if they offer services for a price that's too good to be true, that's a red flag. We've all heard the horror stories. People like their face is frozen. They never look the same again. Has Botox, have these fillers come a long way from that? There has been a vast change in the products that are available on the market. She says the look is a lot more natural now. So this is not your mother's Botox or filler? Well, my mother is also getting a lot of <laughs> Botox and filler, so... Experts say the right treatment should always start with your unique features. My goal was not to look an age I'm not. It's just a better version of myself. And that's the key, a better version of you, whatever that means to you. Garitano says Jekt has seen an uptick in millennials who want these preventative med spa treatments and also men becoming more clients. I wish Craig was still here. They're calling it Brotox. Brotox. Yeah. You, you talk to a man there in that yeah, piece. absolutely. So what about med spas being federally regulated? Is there some source of control from on high, so to speak? So there's no federal regulation, but each state does have its own regulation, state and local boards like doctors and nurses and that sort of thing. So it is important to find out out how it's regulated. Every state has a different rule as to who can perform these services. Okay. And what if you get something done and you're not happy with it or there's an allergic reaction? What, what can you do? Super important. So if you think that there was some sort of malpractice, you want to report that to the state medical board or whoever corresponds with the person that has mm -hmm. the license there. Also, you can go and see another medical provider because some of these procedures, they're reversible. So in some uh, cases, if you don't like the look, they can inject something else to dissolve it, like the fillers, for example, and write a review. Go public with it so other people know. But this is all out of pocket. Yes. This isn't covered by insurance. Right. Not yet. Okay. Maybe someday if it yeah. becomes more and more of a necessity that people feel like they can't live without. But They're right everywhere. now it's out of pocket. They're like all over the country. It's almost like blow-dry bars now. You can go get yeah. your round brush and then go get something yeah. done. Some more needles involved. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Yeah.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.